Hello, my name is Stephen Gwitt. I'm the Director of Conservation and Technical Research here at the National Gallery of Canada. The profession of conservator restorer really begins with the formation of the first museums, really in the 19th century. Initially, restorers come from the craft background of the artists and, the, and carpenters. And as museums evolve and as the century progresses, science becomes a real and serious thing that people are beginning to change their lives by. That also gets incorporated into the profession of conservation. So as we get into the 20th century, we can see scientific examination being applied to works of art. While that may have initially been uh, to try and understand how they're made, to emulate traditional practices, there's a great side benefit. If we understand how something's made, we can understand how it's going to fall to bits or degrade, and therefore we can work out how best to keep it for future generations. And that's really what the profession is, and that's one of the reasons why I get out of bed in the morning to come in. It's to engage with the objects, it's to treat the objects, but it's also that I know I'm making a real contribution because I'm keeping them safe for future generations.